Hello, girls. Lovely to see you today. Who have we here today? We have Teres and Nia. Yeah. Hi. So, Teres. It's a new experience for both of you because you don't know each other. So, Teres, would you like to start uh, speaking to Nia? Yes, of course. Hi, Nia. Yeah, hi, Teres. How old are you? I'm 34 years old. Oh, good, good. <laughs> what do you do today? Uh, today, today I have day off and I have uh, anniversary um, um, in my um, grand grandma house. Oh, <laughs> what is the anniversary? It's a celebration. I know it's the day that uh, my grandma passed away. Oh, all oh, right. So you remember her today? Yeah, it, it means the the, uh, the the members of my family um, uh, uh, come together and celebrate um, a party. Yeah, to to remember that the day that my grandma passed away. Right. So it's a custom there in Vietnam to remember yes. uh, a person that passed away. I think every certain yes. amount of time, maybe one year, six months, or something like that. Just uh, one year. We um, one year we we celebrate one time. For example, at and uh, now we celebrate and uh, next year at, at um, the same time, the same day, we celebrate again. Right. So you remember your grandmother. Okay, then. So you've been together and yeah. you have been thinking about her. Right, today. Yeah. Well, we do, well, part of my family is from Africa and they do the same. Uh, they meet every one of the family and the neighbors come there and they have lunch and, and dinner, I think for three days. I think it's like that. Mm. But is it, for example, a, a happy moment telling uh, good stories about the person that's passed away, remembering, celebrating the life that they've had? Well, in my case, I don't really know. I've never been. <laughs> <laughs> you just heard about it. Yes. Right. Okay. I'm from Irish descent. And uh, these moments uh, when we remember a person who's passed away, uh, the people of the family tell stories of when they were young or they did something funny. So we remember the person and we celebrate uh, that they have lived a good life. Right then, Therese. Uh, how is the city where you live? Didn't understand that, Sorry, try that again. Uh, how is the city where you live? It's beautiful. All right. How is the city or the town where you live? What's it like? <laughs> okay. Mm, I, I live in in a urban, you, in the remote, um, remote area, it is uh, quite far from city. Um, I uh, my hometown is uh, is near a forest, so there are a lot of trees. The weather here is quite cool. Yeah, <laughs> good, good. Wow. So you live in a small town or village uh, near yes. a forest and it's very rural and it's far away from the big city there. Yeah. What's the best thing about your village? Special thing? The best thing that yeah. you like. Um, the special things that um, there, there are a lot of a tropical fruit, yeah. 
So yes. uh, tropical fruit grows very easily there. So that's a good thing that you like about it. Yes, and, and I'm, uh, I'm like a fruit cherry. Like I, I really like to eat fruit. So which one, I am. Which one is your favorite? Yeah, favorite. I don't think uh, what ca ca some kind of uh, fruits. Um, uh, that uh, my favorite. I like all them, <laughs> all of them. Yeah, also, like a yes. mango, mango seed. Yeah. yeah. Some of the fruit Banana. that India has is very unusual, and so we have to yes. look in the dictionary the name of the fruit because we don't know, or we look for a picture on yeah. Google because I've never seen them before. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I'm sorry, I'm quite nervous. I wanted to meet Nia, so. <laughs> and uh, where, where, where are you from, Teres? I'm from Ceuta. I live where Leti lives. Do you live in Africa? No, it's, uh, it's part of Spain. But geographically, uh, we're asking. Yeah. 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 I'm Letizia student. I study in her academy. Uh, you are a student? Yes. Okay. <laughs> what, what kind of, um, what are you major in? What you study? Uh, yeah, are you studying? I'm, I have 16 years old, so I'm in the first year of college. College? Yeah. Is it college, Miss? Mm -hmm. It's called Sixth Farm College in English, British English. So she's doing, okay. are you doing your last two years before university? Yes. So the Spanish school, the high school is divided into four, four years and then the last two years are preparing yourself for when you go to university so Teres now is in the preparation before she goes to university so she studies many subjects I think about nine not Teres you study about nine subjects yes I, yes, I do yeah so she studies a lot of subjects and sometimes it's quite difficult because of the range of things she has to study. What is the best subject that you like, Doris? Well, I I don't really like anyone, <laughs> but I think maybe technology because I learn a lot about wood, um, those kind of things because I choose the technology uh, great level mm. so you they have are, to make things with uh, materials yes they are four kind of levels and i choose the technology one right what do you think about do you study uh, chemistry yes i do, do i you know something that have... uh Nea? Nia is a chemistry teacher. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you are, if you um, want to ask me something about chemistry, don't hesitate to contact me. Okay. <laughs> I will do it. So this is why I was laughing because of that. Well, girls, so you've met for the first time today. And uh, I know it's a little difficult the first time, but now uh, we are going to do something else. Okay, girls? So say goodbye okay. for the moment. Yeah. Goodbye, Letty. Goodbye, Bye. Bye. Have a nice day. <laughs>